we're about to watch. How many times have we seen Nitro versus I'm Hip at Winter Night Fights? A good amount. Go. That just shows like how Wait. much the grind is. And that looks like a wolf. Is Wolf's belt like just chains? I mean, that's probably like the edgiest thing I've seen. Dude, that's past. what I'm saying. I'm trying to look. I swear I saw it. <laughs> Dude, it looks like it's literally like chain link. Wait, you should move it, dude. I can't see it. I can't see the belt. Maybe in the character selection you can see it. Yeah, maybe the victory screen. Yeah, true. I mean, Wolf? Let's talk about matchups, because I definitely think this is one of Belmont's like hardest matchups. Probably why I'm hit. Wait a minute. It is, uh, yeah. Dang definitely it. looking like the hardest matchup. Dude, he got bodies. But, so, all of our... So, if you guys remember, if you guys watched the boss fight, we saw Shuton go Richter versus Myron. So that is one of Almar's hardest matchups is the uh, Simon Richter. Uh -huh. So that this is the I mean I'm hit not going Almar versus Nitro actually makes a lot of sense and now I'm kinda seeing why I'm hit has a wolf. Yeah, he started to pick up Wolf about a month ago. Uh, for this exact matchup, because Olimar, like you're saying, Olimar, gets Belmont is, is hard. Yeah, it's hard. Who wants to work? Yeah, and it's just like, for the most part, any matchup that like Olimar loses is because they just out projectile. That's true. And Belmont's definitely do that. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, just about every move outside of what, jab? Wow, that was a beautiful parry on the second part of down tilt. Again, F tilt, that's going to be enough to take the stop. Wow. Where were Damn, that DI was straight left. <laughs> Nitro's still sitting on his first stock, approaching max percent, or max rate. Dang, but is, is this Wolf going to get sauced so hard that the, the Walmart is not Hard to say. I, I feel like even if uh, I'm hip loses game one, he'll still stick out with Wolf for game two. At least. This is where his finals lose best of five. Uh, so he does have a, a couple games to adjust. Oh man, so much damage. And catching the landing as well. Ooh, what? You can't reflect the forward smash, my man. And there's the tipper on the chain. <laughs> you know what'd be funny that's, if you That's could. what my face looks like right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what if what if you could reflect the chain? That would be so funny, like watching Richter like F smash himself, like <laughs> then you, you see like the chain like get longer and come back at him. There would be what is that like five characters in the game that would just nullify Richter? Yeah. You would just stay in, in reflector the entire time. Like go ahead and make a move. Well what if he grabs you, dude? Dude, I'll take a grab <laughs> over dude, is having a character like not be able to use ninety nine percent of their moves. Okay, so I guess he did. That was a little bit too one-sided for this. <laughs> and the wolf goes back into the den, man, and we'll never. I didn't look to see if his belt was changed, man. I guess we'll never know. Dang, I do. Wait, my switch is right there, but. Are you, you trying to cosplay as wolf? No. I mean, I'm not judging. You know. Definitely, I definitely saw the cat dress as fox once, so. Yeah, sure. Spacey Nation. Is, actually, is that actually sounds like kind of hype. <laughs> Just like I buy a chain and I like wear it as a belt. <laughs> like actually doesn't do it's anything. Like a bike chain? Yeah. Well, it's, no, not a bike chain. Like <laughs> like a like a cool looking chain. I wouldn't put a bike chain on my waist. It'd be funny. Like even if you actually had like big chains on your waist, like there's no way you're actually using that as a belt. It's just it's literally there for aesthetics. Like it's like dang, your belt isn't being used like for its purpose. <laughs> Man, I'm already doing a lot better with the Almar, though. I mean, just probably a comfort thing. It's definitely going to be an experience thing because uh, he's going to have substantial more experience uh, with all of than he's Wow, the DI mix-up. Yeah. <laughs> he was. That man was definitely DI to the right. Oh man, and I like. I feel like I'm hip has a lot of options, especially with these uh, purple Pikmin. If uh, if Nitro starts trying to set up the holy water, I'm hip can just throw it right over the holy water, hit him in a tumble, or at least like latch on a couple Pikmin. I mean, but even if like even if Nitro starts resort resorting to throwing more holy water, he can just shield it and just it'll just bounce off like his shield. Yeah. If, if if Nitro misfaces it. Right. Yeah, it, it's a, it's a, it's tough. Damn, but right now I'm hip. All the control in the world right now. 
Pikmin gonna stop that, or not stop it, but make the holy wow. See, that time it didn't make it go back. Kind of interesting. It might have to be like a purple Pikmin that makes it go back. It might be oh, but the up smash on the backside, even the yellow up smash killing Nitro there. Now on his final stock for this game number two. Mm, S smash, the punch, the whip grab. Nitro retreating to the left side of the stage. Oh, but the, the back hit of the Holy Frost is going to allow Nitro to get back off stage. And give him some breathing room at least. But right now, this pressure on the corner doesn't commit to that second hit. Good to see coming up from Nitro, man. And I really like how Nitro, I want to point out how Nitro is using like, the Holy Water even when he like gets hit in a disadvantage. That's one thing that I, I feel like is a big game changer that I don't see too many other Belmonts do. Well, it really comes down to like character, just knowledge of, of your item. Yeah. If uh, if the holy water bounces off a shield, or if your opponent catches it, then it can in fact affect the Belmonts. But if it hasn't, then it's just like they're immune to it. Yep. And we saw right there, I'm hip actually threw the white Pikmin because it was next on his lineup. He wanted the purple one next, but he didn't want to throw away the white Pikmin. So he threw the white Pikmin to the right. Also made it so he was facing in towards the stage because he was setting up for that purple back here. Two birds with one stone. Yeah. And that's the kind of stuff you got to do as an Olimar main. It's not just swinging out stuff. You got to plan your lineup. You got to see what's next in order and essentially like set up your plan of attack. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pikmin order is just fundamentals for Olimar players. And yeah. I mean, that's just the basic strategy playing as and playing against uh, Olimar. Yeah. All right, so now we're even up 1-1 one, one piece. I'm hip. Tried to come out swinging with the wolf. But, you know, the chain belt not working out too much. Yeah, I mean, Belmont has a bigger chain. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure I could, like, fit around his waist, and it'll still be, like, a bigger chain. Oh, yeah. All right, so, I mean, obviously he's going to stick with the Olimar. He won in that game number two. And I think at this point, Nitro knows he's playing a favorable matchup. So I don't really see him, even if it kind of goes south, I don't really see him switching to Sonic. Like maybe, I don't know too much about Sonic in this game, but I, I would just assume that Olimar kind of bodies Sonic. From what I understand, Nitro will only go Sonic for like certain matchups now. And Olimar's not like Ooh, no double jump here on my pick. And no double jump, but that recovery is really good. That setup, even better. Yeah, and right there, Went for the high read, threw out the holy water, and was able to confirm it into that up smash. But the purple back air for I'm Hip coming out so clutch, even in out this uh, this game, two stocks apiece. Moving around the projectiles, and just trying to get back on the stage. I'm Hip having a little bit of trouble, but now putting some damage onto Nitro. And some of those, he, he like latched two Pikmin onto him, and they pretty much ticked the whole duration. That's, you know, that's when. Pikmin. Yeah, when a white Pikmin, when a blue red Pikmin get get uh, attached onto their opponent, and I'm hip able to get a grab, he pummels, and then does like a like one of the longer throw animations to make just get a little bit of extra damage. Yeah, I'm hip trying to get the kill by throwing two of those purples out. Now he has no purples. That's a pretty big deal here back in the future. But he's got another white Pikmin latch on, and jeez, look at this damage right now. Nitro already sitting yeah, on that. Toss him up, and it's over on the last stock here for Nitro. He's at like 150. I believe one, the first white pick he got on him that uh, in the beginning of that stock take the whole duration. And if they take the whole duration, you're taking like 40, 50 damage just from that one white pick. And it really comes down to like these situations when the Pikmin are getting latched onto Nitro. You seem to be uh, getting attached onto him with uh, some type of trade, and then it'll send I hit off stage. And then within that situation, yeah. Nitro is just fishing for F tilt, not even concerned with the Pikmin that are latched onto him. Yeah. And as you can see, it's working in I'm Hip's favor. Yeah, and I really want to point out, it, we saw I'm Hip corner Nitro earlier there, right? And he only had one Pikmin, and he didn't pull more Pikmin. The reason why he did that is because he wanted that corner pressure with all purple swings. So you can, you can swing a... You can swing one of your aerials, and the next aerial, even though you just used the purple pigment, since he's the only one on your lineup, your next aerial will also be purple. So he wanted to like continually pressure him with just the purple pigment. That's why he didn't pull. And then when he got him on the ledge, he pulled the remainder. But those are like the little subtle things that a lot of people won't notice that like all all of our mains will do. And that's like the kind of stuff they have to kind of do. That's why like 
it's not a very popular character because it's a, it's a lot of like thinking and planning involved. Yeah, I mean, it's just situational events that, that can happen, but you have to know, you have to have your answer for everything. Yeah. You have to know them all. Oh, he has the holy water in hand. Oh, would you? <laughs> yeah, that, that was really good. I mean, and just being able to like, again, the parry on the second hit of down, so it looks like I'm hit very consistent at that. And, and the, the amount of that, the amount of time that these two have played, I would expect them to. Oh yeah, and I'm mean, just really good pairing. I, I, I feel like one of the first people to like really, really impress me with uh, pairing was I'm hip. As we say it, I'm gonna get that parry into the forward smash. Very early stock here, or I'm hip. White Pikmin, as you can see, just not concerned with getting the White Pikmin off. Took 30 percent, 30 percent of that stock was White Pikmin. Yeah. And then just got the purple side beast. Just wow, what an edge guard. And I didn't even use aerial that to end it off there. He just used the purple side beast, which is like so, so smart. And now he's up three stocks to one here against Nitro. Right. Wow. I mean, he's approaching that max rate percent. Olimar with max rates, a little bit scary. Just because he's able to rack so much damage up with you. Like, pretty much they're able to zero to you in a matter of seconds. And yeah. then that's essentially kill percent with purple pigment. And then right there, Nitro did a really good job sealing out that second stock. Did a lot of shield damage with that axe, and even if I may just stay there shielding, like he's gonna catch a jump, he's gonna get a swing, or just maybe even get a shield put with that forward ended up getting that. But Nitro still has much, much more to get this uphill battle going because I'm Hip's got a whole another stock. And did you see the ledge traps coming out from I'm Hip? Three down smashes in a row that actually connected onto Nitro. Yeah, insane. That is actually insane. Oh, but now man. we see the tables have turned a little bit. Up tilt gonna connect, but an up air does not for Nitro. And he got rid of both both of I'm Hip's purples throughout that whole sequence. Up B gonna get some good damage here. So up the off stage, I'm Hip with no purples on deck. Even down so that he knows that I'm just gonna be trying reaching for those Pikmin and he gets the F tilt on the lead on the platform. And you just see you notice how much worse uh Allmar's disadvantage oh with that forward smash is gonna seal the deal. But when you have Allmar in disadvantage when he has no purples, it's so much easier to push it because you don't have to worry about that purple side B throw. Mm -hmm. The purple Pikmin throw is so strong when you're in the disadvantage state because it's just a amazing projectile you can yes. throw out at your opponent. And when there's none of those, and the first time we saw Nitro hit him out, we saw him like hit or just get rid of both of the purples, which right. ended up leading into him getting that second stock. But just really wanted to point that out.